Hello, everyone, and welcome to the D3 District Track Meet in Spencerville. I'm Jennifer Beck, along with Jacob O'Neill, and we are going to bring you the finals. Our track meet is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. This meet started a couple days ago. We do have a few uh, results already that we will bring you later on, including the four by eight and some of the field events. This is event number three, the girls 100 meter hurdles. In lane one, it's Aubrey Frankhauser of Ima Central Catholic. Two is Sophia Whirling of Minster. Three is Molly Brame of Minster. Four is Grace Moeller of Marion Local. Five is Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Six is Rylan Jones of Allen East. Seven is Naomi Kanapke of Parkway. And eight is Alyssa Homan of Marion Local. As quickly as I was able to read those, those ladies were already finished with Moeller from Marion Local finishing in first place. Remember your top four will move on to next week. So we've got Moeller, Lindemann, Jones were three of your four waiting here to see if the uh, results, there we go. Moeller with 1485, Lindemann, Brame, and Jones. Those are your four qualifiers to move on to next week. Event number four is the boys' 110 meter hurdles. These are the finals. In lane one, we have Noah Peters of Lincoln View. Two is Landon Arling of Marion Local. Three is Bo Dwenger of Minster. Four is Carson Herod of St. Henry. Five is Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville. Six is Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. Seven is Max Kanapke of Minster. And lane eight is Adam Winner of Marion Local. Top four finishers will move on to next week. And your top finisher from New Knoxville, the junior Schroeder, with a 1582. Second place is Ricker from Lincoln View. Third is Dwenger from Minster. And fourth, I'm sorry, fourth is Dwenger from Minster. Let's wait here just a moment till we see that board come back around again. And we will give you those results. Schroeder from New Knoxville, one. Ricker from Lincoln View, two. Herod from St. Henry, three. And Dwenger from Minster. Those are your top four finishers. Our presenting sponsor for our D3 district track meet at Spencerville is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. You can find them in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Moving now to event number five, it's the girls 100 meter dash finals. In lane one, it's Anna Larger of Minster. Two, Aubrey Young of Allen East. Lane three, Audra McMichael of Spencerville. Lane four, Anna Ressner of Fort Recovery. Lane five, Alex Kesson of Delphus St. John's. Lane six, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. Seven is Delphus Jefferson's Nakaya Kimmett. And eight, Ava Hershey of Delphus St. John's. Wow, take a look at this. Close to the end, but your finisher is in lane number five. Alex Kesson gets the district win, followed by Anna Ressner of Fort Recovery. Remember, it's the top four finishers who make it on. Kesson, Ressner, McMichael of Spencerville, and Pearson are your finishers. Our next event will be event number six, the boys 100 meter dash. We've got another presenting sponsor for this event. It's Laudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244, that's 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at laudix.com. In the boys 100 meter dash, here's who we have in our final. Lane one will be Jackson Friesner of Allen East. Lane two, Ryan Worley of St. Henry. Lane three, Boston Reynolds of Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Kamari Glenn, Lima Perry. Lane five, Justin Nauf of Marion Local. Lane six, Trey Hensley of Allen East. Lane seven, Kellen Putman of Crestview. And lane eight, Carter Jones of Marion Local. Oh, this is a close one, guys. Take a look. I think it might be a slight edge to Marion Local in five, but we're going to have to look at the leaderboard to know for sure what happened here. Still waiting as we uh, look that. It is now, now from Marion Local with an 11.30 second place. Remember, it's the top four that will move on to next week's regionals. Second place, Hensley with an 11.34, just 0 .04 of a difference. Third is Glenn from Perry, 11.34. Oh, we have a tie for second place. And in fourth, Reynolds from Jefferson Jefferson with 11.63. Those are your top four finishers. Moving on to regionals.
Today's Division Three District Track Meet at Spencerville is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, the proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Event number seven is the girls' four by 200 meter relay. In lane one, it's Parkway. Lane two, New Bremen. Lane three, Minster. Lane four, St. Henry. Lane five, Spencerville. Lane six, Allen East. Lane seven, Lima Central Catholic. And lane eight, Marion Local. Got some pretty pleasant weather tonight. Our track meet was actually moved back to an earlier start because of concern with threats of thunderstorms. And the organizers wanted to make sure that not only could we get the running events in, which of course can run in the rain, but we could also get all the field events in, including the pole vault. I'm happy to say that so far we are just under partly cloudy skies. Sun is just peeking out right now and we just have a little bit of wind, but the weather is holding up well and we're getting ready for our first relay event of this meet. On your mark. Our starting lineups are from Parkway, Cami Langenkamp in one, Chloe Holman of New Bremen in two, Carrie Huckman of Minster in three, Morgan Balmer of St. Henry in four, Lillian Strayer from Spencerville in five, Aubrey Young from Allen East in six, Aubrey Frankhauser from LCC in seven, and Aaliyah Pullman from Marion Local in eight. Those are the leadoff runners that are listed on our heat sheets. Taking a look at Lillian Strayer from Spencerville, doing a nice job of taking advantage of that straightaway. And it does appear that right now, very close right now between Spencerville and Allen East in that handoff as the second runners are going. Grace Fletcher-Johan from Spencerville is the second runner. And then Riley Jordan from Allen East is the second runner in lane six. So that's lanes five and six. Marion Local out there on the outside. Grace Moeller is your second runner. Uh, take a look at the handoffs and see where things are. Lane four, St. Henry. Carly Busher to Sam Lauber, a nice handoff there as these third leg runners make their way around. St. Henry is the team coming in with the fastest seed time of a 146.64. Spencerville is next. And then we have Allen East and Minster. Four of these teams will move on to next week's regional meet. Anchors have the batons in their hand right now. Let's take a look at Riley Balmer from St. Henry racing her way around the curve, chasing her down as Audrey McMichael of Spencerville. St. Henry is in four. Spencerville is in five. Minster with Anna Larger is in three. And Minster has now moved up into that second place spot. It's going to be St. Henry first, Minster second, Spencerville third, and Allen East will finish in fourth. Moving next to event number eight, the boys four by 200 meter relay. Here are the teams in the finals. Lane one, Lima Central Catholic. Lane two, Minster. Lane three, St. Henry. Lane four, with your top seed time coming in, it's Marion Local. Lane five, Allen East. Lane six, Crestview. Lane seven, New Bremen. And lane eight is Parkway. I mentioned that Marion Local comes in with a top seed time. It's a 130.81. Right next to them in lane five will be Allen East with a seed time of 131.13. Justin Nauf, we watched him run not long ago. We also watched Trey Hensley run not long ago. In fact, several of these sprinters we've already seen running down the track today. Koismo de Toya from Lima Saint Central Catholic will lead off in lane one. John Keller from Minster in two. Kenseth Hoying of St. Henry lead off in three. Wesley Shun of Marion Local in four. Deacon Jones from Allen Easter lead off in five. Braxton Leith of Crestview in six. Brady Keller from New Bremen in seven. And Jamani Bixler from Parkway is your lead off in eight. Set. You may have noticed it's the new style of uh, starting gun. It's an electronic start. It does sound a little 
bit different than what we've heard in the past years. That's starting to happen a little bit more with that electronic start instead of the old style gun. All right, <laughs> running fast, running with a lot of speed, passing off into the second heat. Allen East uh, did not seem to have, their, their, their handoff was all right, but they didn't really seem to have the takeoff that we would have expected. Who we have leading right now, Marion Local is strong as we expected. Allen East trying to pick it up. Watch this handoff again. Of course, the staggers make it a little difficult. Marion Local is your current leader. Out there in lane seven, we have New Bremen. Oh, saw, saw a drop with the baton in lane six with Crestview. That is a bummer. All right, we're back to the straightaway, taking a look at what's happening. Marion Local's Victor Holscher getting ready to hand off to Justin Nauf. Nice, smooth handoff there. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, Nauf to Grishop. I got to get, get my speed up on this. Grishop is your runner there. Look at Trey Hensley chasing down Grishop. It's Marion Local in four. It's Allen East in five. It's St. Henry in three with Ryan Worley. Remember, your top four are going to make it in, and Marion Local will get the championship in this race. Allen East second, St. Henry is third, and Minster gets the fourth place spot. A presenting sponsor for our Division Three District Track Meet at Spencerville is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Moving into the distance races, it's the girls' 1600 meter run. Here are the ladies that we have in competition. In lane one, Kaya Hanba of Allen East, Taylor Muhlenkamp of Parkway, Anna Gardner of Crestview, Isabel Carmen of Allen East, Christina Tong of Parkway. In three, Kendall Wells of Marion Local, Kendall Niekamp of Marion Local, Ellie Will of Fort Recovery. In four, Kendall Hoffman of Lincoln View, Caitlin Antis of Crestview, Brindley Moody of Lincoln View, Hope Hamilton of Spencerville, Margaret Hemmelgarn of Minster, and Madeline Hain of Telfa St. John's. In six, Allie Heath of St. Henry, Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster, Emily Morrissey of LCC, and in seven, Caitlin Braun of Spencerville, Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery, and then we have Allison Pape of New Bremen, and Claire Muller of St. Henry. Ladies will take four laps to make their way around the track. We're going to read you some results in just a moment. Also want to remind you that the WOSN channel stream is available. We're pleased to announce new pricing for our streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Spread the word to those who might want to get WOSN. Spectrum did take WOSN off their channel package, so this is a way that you are able to still watch all of the great local sports programming that we carry right here on WOSN. Our top seed time's coming in. St. Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster comes in with a 507 51. Her teammate Margaret Hamilgarn comes in with a 5-10-24. Brindley Moody of Lincoln View comes in with a 5-17 flat. And Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery, a 5-12-43. And off they go. Like I said, four laps around the track. This is a type of race where some runners, actually most runners, have a philosophy. And some just like to tuck in and get ready to make their move later. Other ones like to make their move right to start and set the pace. So we're going to see what kind of runners that we have with that as they now make their way over to lane one. Of course, the key is not to be boxed in. 
And in that little group, we've got a group right there in the front. One, two, three, four, five runners there. We see both the Minster runners. We see our Lincoln View runner. We see a Parkway runner. And I cannot see who that other one is, but you at home can probably see it even better than me, thanks to Jacob O'Neill, who's zooming in for you and allowing you to see a much closer view of this competitive group than I can just because I'm up here in the press box. Here they make their way around to the front. Take a look at Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery setting the pace there. Behind her are the two Minster ladies, and then we have Brindley Moody from Lincoln View. Taylor Muhlenkamp from Parkway also in that front group. One lap is done, and as they make their way into the second lap, we'll give you a few results. This meet actually started earlier in the week, and the 4x800 happened in the first day of the meet, and these are the qualifiers that are moving on to the regionals. In the girls 4x8, in fourth place, it's Fort Recovery. Third place, St. Henry. Second place, Lincoln View. And the winner, Minster, with a time of 9.44.18. In the boys 4x8, fourth place, Marion Local. Third place, Lincoln View. Second place, Minster. And the district champion is New Bremen, running a time of 8.13.66. Not even halfway into the race, and our competitive field has spread out quite a bit. We still have that solid group there at the front. The top four runners are just talking in right there with each other. It's going to be interesting to see what Brinley Moody does. As we've talked before, her style of running is to tuck. She tucks back in, she stays there, and then she makes her move when she is ready. Some great competition, though, right here. We know the strength of the Minster runners. We see Cheney Cedarleaf. Uh, just uh, seeming to be comfortable running a little bit out there on the outside, which means she's running just a tad bit more than everyone else. But is she going to make her move as we're now halfway through? She comes in with the top C time with a 5.07.51. Top four runners will make it into next week. And next week is the week before state track. Don't forget folks, we plan to cover state or cover track all the way to state track and our goal is to bring you division three prelims and finals. Perhaps you have a business that would love to get spotlighted at the state track meet. Give our TV station a call at 419-339-4444 and ask for our sales department so that we are able to set you up with a great sales package. And I would love to be able to talk about your business at state track in just a couple weeks. Here's a few more results for you. Qualifiers making their way into next week. In the boys pole vault, top four finishers. In fourth place, Robert Howe of St. Henry. Third place, Caleb Denman of Lincoln View. Second place, Trevor Top of New Bremen in your top qualifier. Leaping, or clearing rather, 14 feet, Toby Creamer of Marion Local. Well, Margaret Helmelgarn is in second place. Cheney Cedarleaf is in first place. Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery in third and Brinley Moody of Lincoln View currently in fourth. You heard the gun go off. That means the ladies only have one more lap. A little bit of strategy, of course, here. This is not the finishing point. You just got to finish in the top four to make your way into next week. We've got people here who might want to get a district championship. There's others who might just want to continue on to next week. It's a lot of wear and tear, a lot of work on the body. These ladies have a lot more running left to do as well. Well, just as soon as I say that, we see that standout runner, Cheney Cedarleaf, kick things up and move things a little bit faster. And she's pulling right along, right behind her, her teammate Margaret Hemmelgarn and Natalie Brunswick. These are three seniors. This is it for these three seniors. And now Natalie Brunswick has made her way into the second spot. Is she going to claim the, dist the district championship? As she looks like she is wanting to challenge Cheney Cedarleaf. Here comes the straightaway, and we'll see who's going to make her move the most, and that is going to be Natalie Brunswick. Look at her from Fort Recovery. Make her way into the finish. Fort Recovery first, Minster second, Minster third, and Brindley Moody from Lincoln View will finish in fourth.
Event number 10 is the boys 1600 meter run. Here are your runners. In lane one, Peyton Scott of Crestview, Kanan Melching of Perry, Michael Free of LCC, and Caleb Putman of New Knoxville. Also Zach Wiedemann of New Bremen, and Ryan Mestermaker of St. Henry. In two, Hank Kopak of Delphi St. John's, Tyler Rowan of Parkway, Carter Dirksen of Minster, Michael Bowersock of Perry, Jack Grishop of Minster, Michael Miller of LCC, and in three, Caleb Thomas of Crestview, Trey Gettlemiller of Marion Local, Ryan Stuckey of Marion Local, Henry Holman of Delphi St. John's, Carson Gunter in Delphi Jefferson, and Jude Holland of New Knoxville. And in four, Cole Neese of Allen East, Michael Rindler of St. Henry, Simon Schroyer of New Bremen, Trevor Heitkamp of Fort Recovery, and Jaden Kubalt of Allen East. Well, the amount of time it took for me to read all of those names, it was an opportunity for one runner to move out front right away. You know what we saw in the girls' race? We saw that group of five make their way around together, but not here. Trevor Heitkamp is starting out strong and setting his own pace. You can see him in the lead. We have Jack Grishop of Minster in second place right now. Gettemuller of Marion Local is currently in third. Top four finishers will continue on. Just about a little, around, a little over one minute was your was the seed time for Trevor Heitkamp. 102.44 is what he just ran. Stadium district record was set by Brady Yinks back in 2021 with a 42098. Brady Yinks also has the state record that he set in 2022 with a 40920. He is now running in Tennessee, Division I runner at Liscombe University. Well, look at Trevor Heidkamp, the senior from Fort Recovery. Really wants to do his thing here in this race. The sun is coming out, the clouds are parting, and the wind is settling down as Trevor now makes his way around. And really right now what we have is a race for second place. So hopefully you can see that group behind that is clumped together there. New Bremen, Minster, Marion Local, and St. Henry all together running in a row as we now have two more laps to go. Trevor Heitkamp, two, just a little over two minutes, about 2.05-ish, 2.06 is what he was running for his split. Now don't take me for sure on that. That is just an estimation of what I'm seeing. 2.10, exactly what it is. A 2.10.51 was his split. It's really nice that we actually have a finish board. Um, it's wonderful to be able to see those results. Leading us up to state, of course, that's what we get at the state meet with that finish board. Well, Trevor Heitkamp clearly is also thinking about state. He's getting ready to move on to regionals next week, and I'm sure he has that same goal to be at the University of Dayton the last weekend of this month. That's right, folks, this year we are at the University of Dayton for state track. A new location due to some remodeling or some uh, some upgrades being done at the Jesse O Stadium in at the Ohio State University. Trevor Heitkamp currently with about a 15, maybe 20 uh, meter lead as he is in his last lap. Currently in second place, we have New Bremen, Minster in third, and it is a race for fourth. Remember, folks, only four move on. Only four move on. We'll give you a quick result as we're watching Trevor with his nice straightaway. Nice pace back there on the straightaway. In the boys' long jump, here are your qualifiers for next week. Jarrett Harding of Crestview in fourth. Kyle Audie of Marion Local finished third. John Keller of Minister in second. And your district champion is Kamari Glenn of Perry, jumping 22 feet and one inch. In the boys' shot put, Landon Poling of Allen East fourth. Jack Kanapke of Marion Local third. Charlie Schmeezing of Minster in second. And your district champion in the shot put, Will Freimel of Minster throwing 53 feet, 11 inches. Well, one foot after the next foot. Who wants to guess how many uh, feet he has in his stride? Trevor Heitkamp cruising his way into the finish line. Second place, there is a race. It's Minster going to get it. New Bremen's going to be second. And Marion Local makes the way into the fourth place. So those are your top four finishers. Heitkamp from Fort Recovery in a four 
27. Jack Grishop of Minster is second. Wiedemann of New Bremen is third. And Gettemeller of Fort, I'm sorry, Marion Local is in fourth. One of our presenting sponsors is Laudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at laudix.com. Moving back to the sprints now, it's event 11. In lane one, the girls 4 by 100 meter relay, by the way. In lane one, it's Marion Local. Lane two, St. Henry. Lane three, Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Fort Recovery. Lane five, Delphus St. John's. Lane six, Minster. Lane seven, Spencerville. And lane eight is Allen East. Our top seed time coming in is lane four. That's Fort Recovery. They have a 50.19. Next to them, Delphi St. John's with a 50.18. Handoffs are all clean, and our second runners are making their way down the track. Really close handoffs there. Looks like Delphus Jefferson might have gotten it off first. Actually, no, I think that may have been, you know what, folks, I am not sure. Let's just watch and see who's going to get it in this next handoff and who's going to make their way down the straightaway. It's Fort Recovery's Mara Pearson blazing her way ahead, being chased down by Alex Kesson of Delphi St. John's. Whoa, look at Alex Kesson almost get her at the finish but they will finish in second place. Fort Recovery will be your champion. Second place, Delphi St. John's. Let's take a look at the leaderboard to see who else finished. Third place is St. Henry, and fourth place is Minster. Event 12, the boys 4 by 100 meter relay. In lane 1, New Bremen. Lane 2, St. Henry. Lane 3, Crestview. Lane 4, Marion Local. Lane 5, Delphus Jefferson. Lane 6, Allen East. Lane 7, Minster. And lane 8 is Lincoln View. Lane four, Marion Local, comes in with your top seed time of a 43.97. The meet record is a 43.27 set last year by Allen East. Marion Local is in four. Like I said, they are the top seed time, but close to them are most of the other relays. Marion Local does hand off first. Oh, Allen East, Jackson Friesner, though, really, really taking advantage of that straightaway. Marion Local's got Justin Nauf on the straightaway. Oh, that was a pretty close handoff between both of them. I think Marion Local is still in the lead. Watch the handoff. Oh, Allen East, Trey Hensley gets it first. But look at Allen, look at Boston Reynolds. Oh, this is going to be a race for second. Oh, Trey Hensley moves his team into second, I believe, from my angle. Marion Local gets first, and I think that's St. Henry with third. But let's check that leaderboard to make sure. Marion Local runs a 53. Point seven two. Allen East gets second place with a, I'm sorry, that was a 43.72. 43, just missed that for second place for Allen East. But St. Henry is third. Try to watch that run through one more time. While we're waiting for that leaderboard, there we go. Minster second. Folks, I think that that leader uh, board is not accurate, so we're going to make sure we take a look at uh, the results. 
that are on the Ohio uh, mile split, and we will also try to read those to you later in the 3200. A presenting sponsor of our Division Three track district meet in Spencerville is Laudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at laudix.com. This is the girls' 400-meter dash. In lane one, we have Naomi Kanapke of Parkway. Lane two, Evie Gast of St. Henry. Lane three, Bryn Egbert of New Knoxville. Lane four, April Baker of New Bremen. Lane five, Claire Bowman of Minster, Lane 6, Ava Stallman of Minster, Lane 7, Lena Smith of Spencerville, and Lane 8, Melina Badea of Lima Central Catholic. This is one lap around the track. Top four finishers will move to the regionals. Taking a look at Bring Egbert right there in Lane 3. These ladies did qualify in their lanes based off of the prelims, which they ran earlier in the week. And if you've heard me talk about this race before, you will always hear me talk about the different ways to run it. Some just love to sprint it, some love to do a reverse split. I was a reverse split runner, so it's probably one of the reasons why I like to talk about it. So you never know what's gonna happen until this final 200. And here's what's happening right now. Take a look at your Minster runner in lane five, that's Claire Bowman, a freshman. And then over there in lane three, bring Edberg of New Knoxville. Bowman of Minster, one minute, 0.88. Edberg of New Knoxville is second. Third place is Baker of New Bremen. And your fourth place finisher to move on next week is Kanapke of Parkway out of lane one. Event number 14, the boys 400 meter dash. In lane one, Pierce Whitlatch of New Bremen. Lane two, Trevor Stearns of Parkway. Lane three, Wesley Shona of Marion Local. Lane four, Kimari Glenn of Lima Perry. Lane five, Connor Baldoff of Lincoln View. Lane six, Aiden Grishop of Marion Local. Lane seven, Josiah Neff of Parkway. And in lane eight, it's Will Kanapke of Minster. <laughs> One lap around the track. We're already seeing Kamari Glenn make up some stagger there. He comes in with your top seed time of a 50.40. Next to him in lane five, Connor Baldoff is the second top seed time with a 50.78. Kamari continuing to increase his lead as we watch him increase his stride as well. But we're seeing the same thing happen with Connor Baldoff from Lincoln View. Kicking with his arms and legs, chasing Kamari as they make their way to this straightaway. And then we've got Wesley from Marion Local. Take a look at Connor Bolda from Lincoln View, challenging Kamari, who's gonna get it at the end? Let's take a look at the leaderboard and see who your district champion is. And it's Bolda from Lincoln View with a 50.25, Glenn from, from Perry, a 50.32. Third place is shown, Shane rather, sorry, from Marion Local. And your fourth finisher, watching that leaderboard come back around one more time, is Grishop from Marion Local. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Our next event is event number 15. It will be the girls, 300 meter hurdles. I'm happy to say that the sun is shining nicely. The weather continues to be temperate, a little bit of a wind, but nothing like we had last week when we were at Bluffton University. All right, here's what we have in the girls, 300 meter hurdles in lane one. It's Grace Flutter, Johanna Spencerville. Two is Kiana Matsuda, Matsuda of Fort Recovery. Three is Carly Busher of St. Henry. Four is Ryland Jones of Allen East. Five is Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Six is Grace Moeller of Marion Local. Seven is Molly Brame of Minster. And eight is Cadence Bergman, also of Minster. 300 meter hurdles. All right, let's watch and see who is first to get over the hurdle. Oh, and it's pretty close. Liv Lindemann just had Ryland Jones. Ryland taking advantage of that straightaway. Oh, Jones and Lindemann nearly 
equal at that hurdle and once again nearly equal in those hurdles. Less than 200 to go. Looks like Jones may have a slight lead, but Lindemann has taken advantage in between there and has moved into first place. Really good to see her running strongly after last week when she stumbled over one of the hurdles at the conference meet. Here they are in this final straightaway. Marion Locals, Grace Moeller. That's who it is. Sorry, folks. I was looking from far away. And Moeller, but lit. <laughs> Ryland Jones coming in at the end and Liv Lindemann. It's Ryland Jones who comes in from behind. And from my vantage point, I saw the blue and I was calling out uh, Jones, but you were watching Moeller. Moeller finished second, Lindemann finished third, and Masuda from Fort Recovery finished in fourth. In action right now is the boys 300 meter hurdles. Lane one is Camden Gable of Delphi St. John's. Two is Bo Dwenger of Minster. Three is Max Kanapke of Minster. Four is Dre Schroeder of New Knoxville. Five is Andrew Pullman of Marion Local. Six, Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. Seven is Landon Arling of Marion Local. And eight is Thomas Haig of Parkway. Jay Schroeder and Andrew Pullman, your top seed times coming in here going to come down to the end. Take a look at Marion Locals. Oh. In lane six, Landon Arling of Marion Local appears to have been your district champion waiting to see what comes on. It is Ricker. It is Ricker of Lincoln View. Hag of Parkway. All right, folks, the leaderboard, which you usually don't have, is not uh, uh, updating as quickly as I expected, and I just gave some incorrect information. Ricker of Lincoln View, Schroeder of New Knoxville, Marion Locals, Pullman, third, and then Kanapke of Minster in fourth. Our presenting sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Event number 17 is the girls' 800-meter run. There were no prelims in this, so this is just a finals event, and these are the ladies who we have running. In lane one, it's Evelyn Bills of Marion Local, Addison Ross of Crestview, Brinley Moody of Lincoln View, Brooklyn Byrne of Lincoln View, and Breslin Rohr of Delphi St. John's, as well as Olivia Bakke of Delphi St. John's. In two, Anna Lee Hood of Spencerville, Emily Morrissey of LCC, Grace Ross of Crestview, Riley Balmer of St. Henry, Elena Mesher of St. Henry, and Allison Pape of New Bremen. In three, Jordan Schaefer of Parkway, Paige Williamson of Parkway, Delaney Neff of Allen East, Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster, Mia Hirschfeld of New Bremen, and Isabel Carmen of Allen East. And in four, Annie Hemmelgarn of Minster, Grace Gokey of Spencerville, Joelle Kaup of Fort Recovery, Josie Bruns of Marion Local, and Ellie Will of Fort Recovery. Two laps around the track for these ladies. Running under sunny skies. Our top seed time in this heat, or this race rather, is Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster. The senior comes in with a 2.18.43. See Brindley Moody getting out there quickly. She came in in lane one, so she is one of the the runners that are on the inside track but you know she came in fourth in her last race so she does qualify and i see her already kicking things up and moving in only two laps here so the ladies only have so much time to implement their strategies with this and this is a pretty competitive race we've got quite a few ladies that are in the 220s range mid 220s now they're way moving their way over, and you've got Minster's Cheney Cedarleaf setting the pace. But we also have a new Bremen runner right there and Brindley Moody from Lincoln View. Those are your top three that we have at the moment. A 
This is not a sprint. It's not even close to being a sprint, but it is definitely not a slow paced race. If you do not keep up a decent pace, you're just not going to keep up in this race. And now you see that group of three up there. This is the point where it starts to get gritty. Your body is tired. You've pushed pretty hard and it's about time to start sprinting. You can't actually see what's happening in the back end that fourth place spot. There's going to be a battle for that fourth place spot. But right now in the first, second, and third place spots, we've got your top seed time runner coming in, Minster's Cheney Cedarleaf, making her way around the track. Take a look at Brinley Moody back there. Almost looks like she's picking things up just a tad bit. I'm curious to see what's going to happen on this straightaway or if things are going to stay the way we have seen them so far. Well, Minster... Minster is such a solid middle uh, and long distance running group, finishes in first place. Brinley Moody of Lincoln View is going to move her way into second place. Your fourth place runner almost got up there into third place as we watch these other runners finish their way in. Let's look at the times for our top four runners. Cheney Cedarleaf with a 2.19. 56, she is your district champion. Moody from Lincoln View, a 221.83. Hirschfeld from New Bremen with a 2.23. And Bomber from St. Henry will run a 2.23 to get that fourth spot. Event number 18, it's the boys' 800 meter run. Once again, there were no prelims for this, so this is an all final race. And here's who we have running in this race. In lane one, it's Ryan Halpin of Minster, Zach Bakke of Delphi St. John's, Lucas Brewing of Marion Local, Jaden Kovalt of Allen East, Peter Jansen of St. Henry, and Kariaki Early of Allen East. In two, Aaron Bakke of Delphi St. John, Parker Brunswick of Fort Recovery, Michael Miller of Lima Central Catholic, Maddox Norton of Lincoln View, Zach Keith of St. Henry, Isaac Bruns of Marion Local. In three, Nathaniel Stolley of Parkway, Sam Hurt Bernhold of New Bremen, Peyton Scott of Crestview, Jude Holland of New Knoxville, Amarion Jackson of Perry, and Creston Toe of Lincoln View. And in four, Jet Jellison of New Bremen, Victor Pierce of LCC, Jack Grishop of Minster, Xavier Rissner of Parkway, Noah Holland of New Knoxville, and Brenton Rodriguez of Crestview. The all-new WOSN Scores app is not only new, it's also improved. Download the brand-new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up-to-date on all the scores. We'll give you some scores coming up during the 3200 to let you know where our teams are. But right now, we've got the start of the boys' 800-meter run. Two laps around the track. Ryan Halpin of Minster already taken off pretty fast. He is one of your top seed times coming in. Sam Bernhold of New Bremen, another top seed time. Jet Jellison of New Bremen. And your fastest seed time coming in today is Jack Grishop of Minster coming in with a 158.35. Runners have to stay in their lane areas until they get to the small orange cones, which you cannot see yet. The guys got to make their way around this curve. Two laps around the track on this beautiful afternoon in Spencerville. And we've got Lincoln View, Minster, and Minster, one, two, and three right now as they make their way around to their final lap. What a fast race this is. I'm going to tell you what, it's fast for us when we were watching. It doesn't necessarily feel fast when you are running. It feels painful, but it also feels exhilarating if you are a middle distance runner. It's interesting to watch and see what happens now because we're watching them step up with the sprint. Man, take a look at the straightaway riding out that we have going on. It almost looks like that Minster runner in third is hankering just a little bit to move up. Instead, it's going to be your second Minster runner that is going to challenge for that top spot. Of course, every male 800 runner wants to get below that two-minute mark. We got one guy coming in here, Jack Grishop of Minster, does come in with that seat time underneath two minutes, and he has just moved his way 
into the leader thing. Oh man, you can just look at the 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 angst on their faces as they're making their way to the finish. It's gonna be Minster, Minster, and then Lincoln Vu, your top three. Hold on just a moment as we watch everyone else make their finish in, and we'll see the times of them. Jack Curry shot with a 156.75, almost broke the record. Very close. Halpin of Minster, 157.23. Toe of Lincoln View, 158.07 is your third spot, and fourth is Bernhold of New Bremen. Two minutes flat, 0.24. Our title sponsor for the D3 District Track Meet in Spencerville is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Event number 19 is the girls' 200-meter dash. Here are your finalists. In lane one, Naphtali Miller of Delphus Jefferson. Lane two, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. Lane three, Aubrey Young of Allen East. Lane four, Anna Russner of Fort Recovery. Lane five, Alex Kesson of Delphus St. John's. Lane six, Nakai Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson. Lane seven, Andra McMichael of Spencerville. And lane eight, Kirsten Jackson of Delphus St. John's. Alex Kesson out quickly. Anna Resner out more quickly. Look at these ladies. Take a look at lane number four. Resner from Fort Recovery barreling her way down. Alex Kesson right behind her. Who's gonna get the third and fourth spot? That's the question. We'll watch the leaderboard to see what results that we get. Resner, the junior from Fort Recovery, gets first place with a 25.05. Kesson is second. Jackson out in lane eight was third, and Young from Allen East finishes in fourth. Event number 20, the boys' 200-meter dash is underway. Lane one, Joel Lozier of New Bremen. Lane two, Ison Schaefer of Allen East. Three, Victor Holster of Marion Local. Four, Kamari Glenn of Lima Perry. Five, Trey Hensley of Allen East. Six, Justin Nauf of Marion Local. Seven, Jace Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. And eight is Trevor Stearns of Parkway. This one's going to come down to the wire. It looks like it's going to be Kamari Glenn of Perry. As we're waiting for the... Uh, there it is right there. Kamari Glenn of Perry at 22.79. Who finished in second place? Holsher of Marion Local. Third is Hensley. And fourth is Nauf of Marion Local. We have two presenting sponsors for our D3 District Track Meet in Spencerville. Our first one is Leeds, Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lees for all your catering needs. Lees, Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Also, our presenting sponsor number two, no less important though, Laudix Jewelry. Just as important as our other one, Laudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for more than 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at laudix.com. Moving now to our longest girls race of the meet. This is the girls 3,200 meter run. In lane one, we have Maya Kanapke of St. Henry, Shaylee Boyle of New Bremen. Then we have in two, Ellie Grishop of Minster and Brinley Moody of Lincoln View. Though I think I actually see her over there in one. Three, according to my uh, listing, is supposed to be Araya Fenning of New Knoxville. Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery. Next we have Taylor Muhlenkamp of Parkway. Anna Gardner of Crestview. Kaya Heinbaugh of Allen East. Ava Milligan of Lincoln View. Maria Niekamp of Minster. Katie Donaldson of Delphi St. John's, Catherine Post of St. Henry, Christina Tong of Parkway, Hope Hamilton of Spencerville, Caitlin Braun of Spencerville, and Riley Suchland of New Bremen. This is eight laps around the track. Our top seed time coming in is Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery with an 1141.70. So I narrowed to you, I think, 17 names, and I only count 14 runners here, which means we have a few scratches that are not cho choosing to not compete in this 3,200-meter run. 
Eight laps around the track. District record is Taylor Spencer's 11.13.76 set back in 2021. Taylor Spencer, now a division run one runner for Marshall University. Got a pack of ladies settling in here in this first lap. Brindley Moody already making a move, didn't want to be stuck in that back side of that pack, and she's just tucking right there next to the Parkway runner as these ladies make their way around the first lap. Look, you can see already we've got Brunswick from Fort Recovery as a leader out there. Four ladies will make their way to next week. Going to give you some results as we watch this group of ladies come towards our camera here on the straightaway in the girls high jump finishing actually it was a tie a three-way tie for second place Adriana Creamer, Kayla Lamb and Ava Ranley all cleared five feet and your district champion Ellie Fullenkamp clearing five feet two inches those took that that took place earlier in the week in the girls discus throw Katrina Will from Marion Local finishing fourth Bring Bryn Egbert of New Knoxville in third, Carly Niekamp of Fort Recovery in second, and your district champion, Avery Albers of New Knoxville, throwing 118 feet 2 inches. Bring you some more results here in just a moment when I pull them out. I am in the press box right now where it's not too windy, but windy enough to make my papers fly all over. Not sure how that wind is affecting the girls at all. Definitely a much uh, calmer uh, uh, meet than we had last week when we had a conference meet at Bluffton University. That was incredibly high winds. And I think we saw some of that reflected in the times as well. Not a lot of time drops. Here we're seeing some time drops in the sprints. Not so much in the distance, but of course there's strategy going on. Top four will make it. Your top four runners simply want to qualify. Everybody wants to get a good time, but your top four runners are who are going to qualify for next week. And your current leader is the same as she makes her way around. We got Fort Recovery in first, Minster currently in second, Parkway in third, and then a pack of five runners are in that spot vying for fourth place. In the girls' shot put, here's who we have moving on to next week. In fourth place from Winster, Rachel Niekamp. Third place from Marion Local, Katrina Will. Second place also from Marion Local, Georgia Fleck. And your district champion, a freshman from Spencerville throwing 35.7.75. It's Briley Cook. In the girls' 200-meter dash, your top four finishers. Fourth place, Aubrey Young of Allen East. Third place, Kirsten Jackson of Delphi St. John's. Second place, Alex Kesson of Delphi St. John's. And in first place, running 24.83 from Fort Recovery, Anna Ressner. Starting to see a little bit of disparity in our group here. One and two are out there together. Your third runner is running by herself, and we still have that pack that's vying for that fourth place spot. Five ladies there in that fourth place spot as these runners have now been on the track for three minutes and 49 seconds. In the girls' 800-meter run, in fourth place, Riley Balmer of St. Henry. Third, Mia Hirschfeld of New Bremen. Second, Brinley Moody of Lincoln View. And Cheney Leader Cedarley from Minster ran a 219.56 to win the district. In the girls' 300-meter hurdles, in fourth place from Fort Recovery, Kiana Matsuda. In third place from Delphus Jefferson, Liv Lindemann. Second place from Marion Local, Grace Moeller. And your district champion from Allen East, running 46.25, it's Ryland Jones. Five laps left to go for these groups of runners and still no change in our leaderboard. Here's who we have as far as more results. In the girls' 400-meter dash, in finishing in fourth place from Parkway, the freshman, Naomi Kanapke. In third place from New Bremen, a sophomore, April Baker. In second place, a junior from New Knoxville, Bryn Egbert. And your district champion, just a freshman from Minster, almost breaking that one-minute time, dropping almost three seconds from her seat time, one minute, point eight eight. It's Claire Bowman from Minster. Really, really nice weather in my opinion. The light wind, probably can't avoid all the wind, but really light wind. 
Uh, I would imagine it's not really affecting the ladies too badly as they're running. Of course, I am in the press box, so I, I can't speak for them for sure. But the sun is, the sun is out there, but it is not oppressive. Um, really seems to be a nice day. Spencerville decided to start the meet a little bit early on this day just to avoid any potential bad weather. And so far, we have been able to avoid all of that bad weather. Some more results to bring to you. The girls 4x100 meter relay are fourth place finishers. Minster, third place, St. Henry. Second place, Delphi St. John's. And your district champions running 49.77 seconds. Just missing the uh, district record was 49.64. The Fort Recovery Group of Anna Ressner, Paige Guggenbiller, Kiana Matsuda, and Mara Pearson. Fort Recovery, they are your district champions. In the girls' pole vault, our top finishers are in lane, are lane four, rather. In fourth place, Josie Boat of Minster. Third, Tara Creamer of New Bremen. Second, Riley Higgins of Minster. And clearing 10 feet... Actually, we got two people clearing 10 feet, but your champion clearing 10 feet is from Spencerville, and she is Lexi Greer. Four laps left to go. The ladies have been on the track for six minutes and 52 seconds, and our leader is starting to pull away just slightly. Fort Recovery still is in the lead. Minster is still in second place. Parkway is in third place, and now we've started to have a breakaway into that fourth place spot as well. You can see right there our top two runners who are at the straightaway here getting ready to have their, they're just about to lap number three. That's where they have left, almost lap number three for recovery first. Minster is currently in second. Parkway is in third. Here's some results from the girls' 1,600-meter run. Our top qualifiers are... Brinley, Brinley Moody of Lincoln View finishing in fourth place. Margaret Hemelgarn of Minster in third. Cheney Cedarleaf of Minster in second. And your champion in the 1600 meter run, who is currently leading the 3200 meter run, it is Fort Recovery's uh, Natalie Brunswick. I was just handed an updated shot put result, so let me bring you the shot put results. In fourth place, it's Beth Hughes of Lincoln View. Third place, Katrina Will of Marion Local. Second place, Georgia Fleck of Marion Local. And your champion, throwing 35.7.75, the freshman from Spencerville, Briley Cook. Three laps left to go for some of these ladies. Three, two and a half laps left to go for quite a few of these ladies. And the lady who is in the lead, Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery, is starting to extend that lead. It's hard to see the entire group, isn't it, folks? And we have so many runners here, 14 runners running around the track. And at this point, your leader is strengthening her lead, coming in with 1141.70. And showing everyone that this senior from Fort Recovery is a solid runner. Already won the 1600. And just about two laps to go. As she crosses that two lap mark, she is currently at nine minutes, two seconds. Minster currently in second. Parkway is currently in third place. A couple more results that we can bring you as we get ready for this race to get close to the end. You know, everybody likes to think about the 3200 and how long it is, and yeah, it's long. Super long for the runners, but it's less than 10 minutes, and it's amazing. It's amazing to me how much pace these ladies are able to keep going as they run this race. In event seven, the girls four by 200 meter relay. I would imagine that everybody who ran the 4x200 has no interest in running the 3200. Isn't that the way it goes? You got sprinters and you got distance runners. Every single race is important. In fourth place, Allen East. In third place, Spencerville. In second place, Minster. And your district champion running a time of 147.18. The team of Morgan Bomber, Carly Busher, Sam Lauber, and Riley Bomber. It's St. Henry. 
In the girls' 100-meter dash, your top qualifiers. In fourth place, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. Third, Audra McMichael of Spencerville. Second, Anna Restner of Fort Recovery. And your district champion, Alex Kesson of Delphi St. John's, running 12.29 seconds. In the girls' 100-meter hurdles, Fourth place, Rylan Jones of Allen East. Third place, Molly Brame of Minster. Second place, Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson and your district champion, Grace Moeller of Marion Local. 14.85 seconds is her time. All right, you heard the gun go off. That means one lap to go for our final, final runners and for recoveries. Natalie Brunswick continues to be in the lead. I got one more result for you as we get ready to watch that final 200 from Natalie Brunswick. In fourth place, Morgan Bomber of St. Henry. In third place, Mary Hurston of Perry. In second place, Alex Kesson of Delphi St. John's. And in first place, with five fouls and one good jump, that good jump was all it took, 17.325. Your district champion, Mara Pearson of Fort Recovery. And here she comes, Natalie Brunswick. The crowd is clapping for her as she makes her way in 11, oh, just over 12 minutes. And she is your district champion. Here comes the second place runner, Minster, always with strong, strong runners, Mara Niekamp making her way in for your second place finish. Parkway coming in third place. Taylor Mullenkamp finishes strong and she will be the third place finisher. And here comes your fourth place runner. Here is the final one to move her way on to districts. Your final runner to qualify for next week is Fenning from New Knoxville running at 12.29.55. Event 22 is the boys' 3,200-meter run. Our entire meet is title-sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Here's who we have running in this race. In one, Brooks Petrie of Crestview and Peter Jansen of St. Henry. Two, Trevor Heidkamp of Fort Recovery and Xander Coyle of Lincolnview. Three, Tyler Rowan of Parkway, Kanan Melching of Perry. Four, Reese Diller of Fort Recovery, Andy Walpole of Delphi St. John's, and Trey Gettemuller of Marion Local. Five, Colin Neese of Allen East, Colin Cedarleaf of Minster, Dominic Schroyer of New Bremen. In six, Zach Wiedemann of New Bremen, Michael Bowersock of Perry. In seven, Nick Pringer of Minster, Dalton Pullman of Marion Local. And in eight, Riley Wenslick of Delphi St. John's, and Michael Rindler of St. Henry. Well, it didn't take long, did it, folks? Trevor Heidkamp was anxious to get out and get moving, and he did that right from the start. I really think it's interesting to look at the different styles of running. Um, I was a middle distance, some long distance. I ran cross country, so you know I was always told you want to keep your arms down and you want to do kind of a claw style run. But take a look at what Trevor Heidkamp's doing. He's kind of keeping his arms up, and actually it looks like his fists are relatively closed. But no one's going to question him because it works for him. Standout runner, the senior from Fort Recovery. Really, really did great in his previous running today and continues to lead the group right now. Well, we're going to do like we did with the girls. We're going to bring you some results from the boys. Top four will move their way on to next week's regionals. And then the top from there will move their way on to state. You know, this year, the state track meet is at a different location. It will be at the University of Dayton, right next door to where the state basketball tournament took place. 
Ohio State's track is having some things done to it, and so it was not possible to host the OHSAA state track meet. So this year, the University of Dayton Welcome Stadium will be taking on that task. And the, the, the schedule's going to be a little bit different than it's been in the past. Division three prelims will be on Thursday night. Division two prelims will be on Friday morning. Division three finals will be Friday night. Division two finals will be Saturday morning. Um, Division one, actually, you know what? I'm doing this from memory and I don't have it memorized. So I don't even have the whole schedule memorized, but I just want you to know it is different than when it's been in the past. So you can't plan on everything the same way as it was before. Hopefully it's gonna be a wonderful event. We will be there just like we have been before. And perhaps you have a business and you would like to sponsor our state track meet. It's a great opportunity and it's very cost effective. All you have to do is call 419-339-4444 and ask for our sales department. And you can learn more about sponsorship opportunities. I will be calling those races and I would love to call out your business name. Just like I've been doing for Lee's and Laudix and Wabash Mutual Telephone all throughout this meet. Well, first place, strong, solid. Trevor Heitkamp is way out there. Second place is a bundle. Group of guys there settling in, kind of. Nope, we're starting to see some moves being made right at the end of that straightaway as those guys make their way around. They've been on the track for three minutes and 16 seconds right now. We're going to give you a few more results. want to repeat for you the girls' long jump. Cameraman Jacob O'Neill reminded me that during the girls, I forgot to say what race it was. It's the girls' long jump that we had Morgan Bomber finishing in fourth, Mary Hurston in third, Alex Kesson in second, and Mara Pearson from Fort Recovery finishing in first. In the girls' long jump, fourth place finisher. Actually, I just gave you the girls' long jump, didn't I? Folks, this is what happens when you talk and talk and talk without a break for multiple hours. But it's great to talk, and I'm so glad you're watching, and I'm so glad that we are watching this meet together. Well, you watched the 800-meter run, and these were the four finishers. Sam Bernhold of New Bremen in fourth, Creston Toe of Lincoln View in third, Ryan Halpin of Minster in, sec Minster, sorry, Minster in second, and your district champion from Minster, the senior running 156.75, Jack Grishop. In the 400-meter dash, your fourth-place finisher, Aiden Grishop of Marion Local, Wesley Shane of Marion Local in three, Kamari Glenn of Perry in two, and Connor Baldoff coming in at the end to get the district championship Lincoln View running 50.25. In the boys' 300-meter hurdles, in fourth place, Max Kanapke of Minster, third, Andrew Pullman of Marion Local, second, Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville, your district champion running 40.37 seconds from Lincoln View, Cody Ricker. Trevor Heitkamp just passed the four mark, so he is halfway through. He has run four. Our, we have a group of three that are vying for that second place spot, and if things stay the way they are, there's your top four, and that's who will move on. But we still have an entire half a race to finish yet here in this 3,200 meter run. Back to the sprints. Top four in the 200 meter dash. Fourth place, Justin Knopf of Marion Local. Third, Trey Hensley of Allen East. Second, Victor Holster of Marion Local. And first, Kamari Glenn of Perry, running 22.79. And just to tell you how close that was, first place was a 22.79. Second place was a 22.85. Third was a 22.92. And then fourth place was a 23.42. In the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay, fourth place was Crestview. Third place was St. Henry. Second place, Allen East. And your district champion, it's a name that we have been talking about a lot. They have a solid, solid track and field team this year. Marion Local, the team of Braden Pavelka, Justin Knopf, Kyle Otte, and Carter Jones running 43.72 seconds, really close to that district record of a 43.27, which was set last year by Allen East. And the boys, four by 200 meter relay. Heartbreak for Crestview when they've dropped the baton, finishing an eighth in this finals. Your top four moving on to next week, fourth place Minster, third place St. Henry, second place Allen East, and your champions, once again, Marion Local, the team of Shane, Helsher, Knopf, and Grishop running 131.27. That is the boys' 4x200 
meter relay. We are getting closer to the end of this race. Three laps, less than three laps for our leader, and he is not slowing down. He's, he's running by himself. He really would have an option to slow down if he wants to, but he's not. He's got that self-determination. He's got the goal-setting skills. He's got a focus toward what he wants to do in this race. That's Trevor Heidkamp of New Fort Recovery, rather. Sorry, folks. Fort Recovery's Trevor Heidkamp, as you see him here coming down the straightaway, just smooth. He's just staying smooth as he runs. His head is not moving. His body is just jiggling just a tiny bit, and he has less than 800 to go. 729, 730 is on the clock right now. But take a look at this group right here. New Bremen, New Bremen, Minster. That's who we've got, two, three, four. As now we're getting to the point where things are going to start to speed up. Um, these three guys, if things stay the same, they will move on. But positioning-wise, what do they want to do? We're going to see what happens in this final 200. In the boys' 100-meter dash, here's some more results for you. Top four finishers are fourth place, Boston Reynolds of Delphus Jefferson. Third, Kamari Glenn of Perry. Second, Trey Hensley of Allen East, tenure champion Justin Nelf of Marion Local, running 11.30 seconds. Moving to some field events in the boys' high jump. Sander Coyle finished in fourth place from Lincoln View. DJ Bensman from Minster in third. Preston Rushling of New Knoxville in second. And your district champion, Drew Boggs, clearing six foot two inches. He is from Delphus St. John's. In the boys' 110 hurdles. Fourth place finisher, Bo Dwenger of Minster. Third is Carson Herod of St. Henry. Second is Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. And your district champion, Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville running 15.61. All right, the gun went off. Trevor Heitkamp from Fort Recovery has less than 400 to go as we see him move his way, move his way around. Minster has moved into second place and we still have New Bremen in third and New Bremen in fourth. In case you were wondering, Marion Local comes in at this point as your leader in the districts. Marion Local just really having a solid year. Great, great sprinters, um, really having um, a good year overall with their track and field. In fact, they've got a fourth place finisher in the boys' 1600 meter run in Trey Gettemuller. Third place was Zach Wiedemann of New Bremen. Second place, Jack Grishop of Minster. And first place in the boys' 1600 meter run, the guy that you are watching right here, get ready to win the 3200 meter run. It's Trevor Heidkamp of Fort Recovery. And the boys' discus throw will try to get one more in here before we see him cross the finish line. In fourth place, Eddie Peppelman of Marion Local. Third, Landon Poling of Allen East. Second, Jack Kanapke of Marion Local. And your district champion in the discus throw. Three fouls and three good uh, throws. 177.04 was enough for first place in that. And first place in this, underneath 10 minutes, running by himself virtually the entire time, Trevor Heitkamp. Here comes your second place runner. It's going to be Minster and the new Bremen boys. Three and four, and those will be your qualifiers as they move on next week to the regional meet. Our presenting sponsor of the D3 District Track Meet in Spencerville is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Well, folks, it's time now for the girls' 4x400 four meter relay. We did have a prelim of this earlier in the week, and these are our top eight relay finishes, finishing groups. In lane one, it's going to be Lincoln View. Lane two is New Knoxville. Lane three is Fort Recovery. Lane four is Minster. Lane five is St. Henry. Lane six is Spencerville. Lane seven is New Bremen. And lane eight is Delphus St. John's. Top seed time coming in is Minster with a 409.72. Listed is the relay team of Carrie Heckman, Claire Bowman, Ava Stallman, and Cheney Cedarleaf. That's who we have listed. Of course, it's always important to remember that um, 
Uh, coaches can change things out. In fact, many times when they put the relay team in, you're going to see six, seven, or even eight names because things can change. Sometimes you have one team in prelims, you have another team in finals. So what we have on our list isn't always exactly what we actually have. I want to remind you once more that we have this presenting sponsor of Lee's. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Once again, just a little bit different of a sound for a start. Perhaps you have heard that uh, an electric start is being used more and more instead of the gun start. It definitely does have a little bit of a difference. Even earlier in the meet, there was some question whether it was uh, sounding properly or not. Uh, something to get used to, but hasn't seemed to really cause uh, many problems here in this meet. All right, these ladies are running in their lanes for the entire first lap. They will hand off in their lanes. And as they make their way around, let's take a look and see who it appears to be in the lead. We do have a staggered start, so it isn't always able to tell specifically until we see that handoff. But as we told you, the top seed time is Minster. St. Henry leading off with Carly Busher, strong start. And Grace Flutter Johan from Spencerville also with a strong start. Passing that baton first, that is St. Henry from Carly Busher to Riley Balmer. Again, that's who we have listed here. That's not necessarily who is running. So if I say a name that isn't correct, I apologize. Speaking of names, folks, I know I didn't get them all correct, and I would love to be able to pronounce them correctly. We still have more track all the way to state. I'd love for you to email me the pronunciation of your team's names. You can email me at jbeck at WTLW. Dot com. That's jbeck at wtlw.com. We have a race going on. Take a look at the kick strides going on here as we get to the final 200 of the second lap. And Minster, who had fallen back into second place, is now moving back into first place. Fort Recovery was up there first, moved back down to fourth. So we've got Minster, St. Henry trying to get to that first place position before she turns it off, and it is very, very close. In fact, she did it. St. Henry passing the baton off first, but Minster getting a little bit more of a sprint start. We've got Spencerville in third, and we have Fort Recovery currently in fourth with the third runner on the track. Three out of four runners. Beautiful, beautiful day. Temperate conditions, sunny but not too intense, slightly overcast. We've got clouds in the sky, really, really nice weather. Minster currently leading, St. Henry currently in second. New Bremen, or, or Fort Recovery rather, has moved into the third place, and Spencerville trying to tag on and get there into the fourth. If things stay this way, that's going to be your top four moving on to next week. But you know, lots of things can happen when you pass off to an anchor. Anchors are waiting patiently, maybe impatiently, to get that baton. Minsters, Ava Stammen, according to my list rather, is supposed to pass off to Cheney Cedarleaf. Minster is first, St. Henry is second. Spencerville jumping into third place, but very close behind is Fort Recovery in fourth. Here's who I have listed as the anchors. Lincoln View has Lindy, Lindsay Hatcher, Bring Egbert for New Knoxville, Anna Ressner for Fort Recovery, Cheney Cedarly for Minster, Morgan Balmer for St. Henry, Lillian Strayler for Spencerville, Mia Hirschfeld for New Bremen, and Kaylee Senderhouse for Delphi St. John's. Well, I take a look at Minster. Wow, look at the solid, solid running going on there. Her legs are just moving fast, moving fast. Her arms are moving fast. Her ponytail is flying fast. Always so enjoyable to watch Minster run. Such a solid, solid program. And this sprinting middle distance team really looking great. She is barreling her way to the finish. Minster moving for a district championship 
uh, finish in the 4x400 relay. 404 is what she's going to do. St. Henry's in second. Can Spencerville hold on to third? Or Fort Recovery will get fourth? And those are your top four finishers as it appears. Minster one, St. Henry two, Spencerville three. And Fort Recovery is in fourth. Event number 24, the boys four by 400 meter relay. Our presenting sponsor is Laudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Laudix. Dot com in the boys 4 by 400 meter relay in lane 1 we have St. Henry in lane 2 we have Parkway in lane 3 we have New Bremen 4 is Minster 5 is Lincoln View 6 is Marion Local lane 7 is Fort Recovery and in lane 8 we have New Knoxville our lead off runners according to my list for St. Henry of Owen Rao for Parkway, Thomas Haig, Pierce Whitlatch for New Bremen, Will Kanapke for Minster, Cody Ricker for Lincoln View, Aiden Grishop for Marion Local, Judy Jet Breaker for Fort Recovery, and Albers James for New Knoxville. These runners will stay in their lane for their entire lap. Top seed time coming in is lane four. It's Minster with a 3.29.98. The second fastest seed time is Lincoln View with a 3.31.27. And your Lincoln View runner really starting out strong. Passing off the baton first. Second passing off is New Bremen. And third passing off is Minster. Speaking of New Bremen, I need to give an apology to the girls 4 by 400 meter relay. Um, if you watch many of our track meets, you know we usually have two of us. Two of us are usually uh, up here. It's just me today, which means we only have one set of eyes instead of two. I spent too much time looking down, and I was calling Fort Recovery as the fourth, third, and fourth place uh, spot, where really it was New Bremen throughout most of the race. So New Bremen, ladies, I apologize to you for that. Um, it was Fort Recovery who did finish in fourth, though, and they will be moving on. All right, in this race right now, it's those top two seed times coming in. Lincoln View still has the slight lead over Minster, and there's New Bremen moving his way in, getting close to second place as they hand off New Bremen and Minster, basically handing off in a tie, and it's Marion Local that is currently in that fourth place spot. Lincoln View's team, Cody Ricker, Creston Toe, Evan Johns, and Connor Baldoff, you know, those are some names we've said a lot over and over again, and they are your current leader. Minster currently in second, but whoa, take a look at Marion Local. It's happening right now. He is using that straightaway for all the right stuff, kicking his way into the third place spot. Now Minster making the decision to pass on the curve, and man, Marion Local passing on the curve even more. Nothing like moving almost into lane two to run. And that's exactly what's happening. Marion Local getting ready to hand off close to first, but not quite. Minster has moved into first. Marion Local is in second. Lincoln View is third. And New Bremen is in fourth. Now, folks, this is what we think is supposed to be the final race, but hold on because there's a chance it won't be. I heard a rumor that the girls' 400-meter dash might be rerun because of a malfunction with that electronic start. Stay tuned, and we will be sure to let you know once we find out. Wow, guys, take a look at this race. Take a look at that straightaway, back straightaway. Oh, Lincoln View's trying hard. He's going to do it. He moves his way into second place. Can he overtake Minster as he moves even faster? That's Connor Baldoff passing on the curve. Shades on his eyes, shaded from the sun. But Marion Local says maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Lincoln View's Baldoff. Minster has Grishop, and Marion Local will finish in third with New Bremen coming in fourth. Well, we have an unusual finish for you. Normally we're done with the four by four, but today we have one more race, and it's the girls' 400 meter dash. As we've talked a little bit throughout this meet, uh, the electronic starter is a new uh, thing that's being used this year, not in all of the meets, but it is being used today. And in the girls 400, that starter wasn't really as loud and pronounced than it has been for others. And so there is an option available to all eight girls to rerun this race if they would like. And it appears as of right now that just two have taken that up. We've got Gast in two and Stammen 
in six. And as we get ready to watch them run, we want to remind you again of our sponsors for our event. Our title sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Our presenting sponsors are Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Laudix Jewelry. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. And Laudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for more than 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at laudix.com. And the ongoing sponsor that we don't talk about a whole lot when we are doing these broadcasts are you. You are an important sponsor for everything that we do. TV44 and WSN are viewer-supported TV stations, and you can donate anytime at axeministries.com. All right, we just had the whistle blow. That means we have these ladies getting ready to rerun. We've got Ava Stallman from Minster in lane two and Evie Gast from St. Henry in, or I'm sorry, Evie Gast from St. Henry in lane two and Ava Stallman from Minster in lane six. All right, that, uh, that sound was much louder than what we had for the girls 400 before. Both of these ladies are coming in Ava Stallman comes in with a seat time of 103.89. Evie Gass of St. Henry comes in at 104.79. To kick her, the, either girl into the regionals, they have to beat the time of 102.63, which is what Naomi Knapke of Parkway ran. Knapke with a great run, dropping uh, almost three seconds, came in with a seat time of 105. All right, folks, here we have Stallman and Gast. Of course, they are running in a stagger here. Uh, and you can hear the cheering going on for both of these ladies as they power their way into the finish line. Are they gonna get that time? Wow, take a look. 102 is what we have. Let's take a look and watch the board. The two ladies are both giving each other high fives and big hugs. Gas with a 102.29. It's enough to move her in to that fourth place spot. Stallman with a 105.03. And folks, that is going to wrap it up for us from the Division Three District Track Meet at Spencerville Local Schools. I'm Jennifer Beck with Jacob O'Neill and all of us at WSN. We want to thank you for watching this meet and for watching your hometown local station, WOSN.